Many of them didn't talk about those things with us, with their children, or with their families, or their communities. Whether it was abuse at residential school, or the hurt about being relocated and never being able to go back to your homeland, or going away for tuberculosis treatment, or having your dog slaughtered. These are all things that created the social environment in the 1970s that led to the first time uh, of our Inuit communities having elevated rates of suicide. <clears throat> and I think of all the things that have gone on in the families of those people that are relocated. And then I think of my son. My, my youngest son is named Joshua. He's named after my great uncle. And in many ways, myself, my children, are still looking for a place that meant as much to us as what Hebron meant to Joshua and his family. We are still looking for that harmony and that balance. And I'm hopeful that my son can find that. And I'm doing everything that I can to ensure that he does find that. That he grows up in a stable home. That he knows his culture, that he knows his language that he appreciates his elders. And that is what we're trying to get back to. And that is that the root cause of why suicide exists the way that it does in our communities. Because we're still searching. And if we don't have the means and we don't have the ability to feel at home within our own community or with our own knowledge or our own skills, then we are at risk. So I look forward to working with all of you to create a better future for all Inuit. Nakumi. It's about loved ones that have either contemplated, attempted, or died by suicide. But the way out it involves acknowledging that traumatic history as we are doing here today. And there are lessons in our painful past. And the painful past is what helps us to rebuild helps us collectively to uh, renew relationships. We're long overdue for this. It will require a tremendous amount of reparation of the foundation of our relationship together, but I hope that today will be an important step along that journey of reparation. I hope that uh, you will see us in the months and years to come, and I count on you to hold me and our government uh, accountable to this commitment that we've made to you today to be a supportive partner.